What's up guys? Doing a video here on this 2014 Ford Mustang GT. It is the GT Premium with the performance package. It's gorgeous, the 19 inch rims look great. This is the color I want on my dream Mustang. And um, yeah, there's not much to say, so I'm just gonna show you around it. Obviously I can't get inside of it here. It's nighttime, but they probably think I'm weird. I mean, nobody's here, but I'm sure there's cameras, right? But yeah, so check out the front of this thing. Tires on this thing are brand new. Hood scoops there look really good. 5 -oh badge. This is ruby red metallic for you people who did not know. And then you can see that kinda. No, you can't. Let me. So 24,988. Um, this car is listed at a very good price. It's got. Uh, Quarter pan or quarter window louvers and rear window louvers, which I would take them both off. Um, and then it's got just a regular stock GT wing here, which would come off, and then the GT350 style wing would go on there, or GT500, I guess you could say. Uh, it's just a gorgeous car. It's 100% stock. The pipes are stock. Underneath it is not rusted. It's clean, but it's not doing good sitting here in this snow. It really makes me mad. They should have this thing inside. It has 9,000 miles on it. It's barely used. The GT emblem there. It's got a shorty antenna. I'm stepping in snow with my slippers. God, this car is so gorgeous. I'll be coming here really soon to try and finance it. I'm 90% sure it's not gonna work. There's my current car. Um, review coming out on that soon. 10 things I like, 10 things I dislike, all that good stuff coming out on that soon. So subscribe for that, Grand Prix GXP. But I want to keep that. I want to pay it off and have this, but that might not work. If I can get financed before I can get that paid off, I'm going to have to trade it in, but I'll do it. But it's a great car. I highly recommend that car. So reliable, so good. It's good in the snow, as long as you have good tires on it, which I do. It's just good all around. It's a great car. Highly recommend it. It's fast too. You wouldn't think that car is fast. Nobody thinks it has a V8. It's 100% a great sleeper. I'll get back to the Mustang in a second. I just want to show you guys this. If you follow my other channel, you've seen this car plenty of times. But my new intake is coming because my defective one I had to send back from K&N, which was weird. But um, got the carbon fiber chin lip. It's got the stock rims, which will be changed out very soon. Pretty excited about that. Uh, grabber blue brake calipers a lot of salt and stuff I give this a car wash like every four or five days a really good one but can't do anything here in Minnesota has Megan racing exhaust tips connected to Borla straight pipes um, it still has the catalytic converters they are burnt exhaust tips you can kind of see they're so dirty though red mud flaps there. They're not rally armor, but they're just stock Pontiac ones, but they do the job, kind of. <laughs> but a couple Paul Walker tribute stickers there, one here, and then over there I got a couple stickers I'll show you guys. I just have, always have to have a couple stickers on my back window for street racing and stuff. And i uh, got the same sticker here on the other side too. But see my radar detector in there? Brand new headlights. Brand new front grille, brand new hood. It's just brand new front bumper. I've had the car for a year now. Got it with 90,000 miles. Now has 148,000. I've driven the crap out of this car. I love it. Oil changes every 3,000 miles. Absolutely love this car. Favorite car I've ever had. It's gonna. I'm gonna always remember this car if I can't keep it forever. But I got a shorty antenna there. Um, but. Upgrades I'm looking to do to this in the meantime until I get that is coming up at least is the rims Again new tires when but I'm not gonna get the new tires right away I'll just put them on these tires because I just my dad just got these back tires for me And he just got the front tires for me You can't tell that they're in really new condition because they have slush all over them But uh, they are 
for sure. And I can put the new rims right on those, get them all cleaned up and good. But uh, I, don't worry, I kick all this stuff off um, when I park at home. I kick it off so it doesn't sit with it on it. But uh, plans, um, high flow catalytic converters, uh, MagnaFlow. Uh, my new intake, so it currently has a stock one on it, which is stupid. But <laughs> yeah, I keep all the stock parts too, by the way. Uh, had black windows that had a limo tint when I got it, but I got pulled over seven times before I got a ticket, so fair enough, right? 50% tint is legal where I am. But uh, it looked so good, but you know, I wasn't about to get my license taken away. Got the shark fin up there. But uh, love this car. It's got the Alcantara or suede and leather seats. Love them. You can see them in there. Great seats. I love the seats. But yeah, it's a great car. 303 horsepower stock. With my intake, sorry, intake, mine will be at about 315 horsepower roughly to the crank, which isn't much more, but it's a little bit. And then I am on a, right now I'm on a street tune, a 93 octane street tune. So actually, I guess I'm more, but that's with the 315 with the intake. And then the tune, I don't know what it added, but it added something, so I have roughly about 320, 325 horsepower. I don't know how much a tune adds, just a street 93 octane tune. <sighs> From a Diablo tuner. I got it done at a shop in, the, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I was in, up in, I'm not gonna say the area, but I say around Brainerd. St. Cloud, Baxter, Minnesota, around those areas. That's where I live. I'm not gonna say the exact area, but a lot of my viewers know it. But uh, yeah, that's my car. Those were red, but I got a ticket for those on the first pullover, which is stupid. So I had to take those out. But they're going back in there soon because the officer who inspected the car um, to waive the ticket for me said I can put him back in there and I can have him on, you know, in private property and all that. I just can't have him on on the road. So. He was a really nice officer. The one who pulled me over was a dick, but yeah. Still deciding whether I want to be a finance manager at a Ford car dealership, or just in, well, in general, but at a Ford car dealership, for real, or a cop. Because if I go to a cop, I want to be a police officer and work my way up to a, to like a criminal justice investigator or something like that. Um, like Kind of like Law & Order SVU, but not special victims. But yeah, so back to the Mustang. Dream car here. <laughs> I'll show you the interior. It's got Recaro racing seats. I don't know if they're called racing seats, but they're Recaro seats. Manual transmission, it's all leather. Well, no, it's not <laughs> Recaro. <laughs> but um, it's got like, it's a premium, it's the premium package. Um, wrong, I don't even know if it's a premium package. That's what the salesman told me, but it doesn't look like it. But um, I just slipped. But yeah, you can see there it's got the you know average Ford Mustang stuff in there. I just plowed through snow with my freaking slippers. Look at that ice, that's how the roads are right now. But yeah, um, so that's the Mustang GT. I will tr be trying to get this vehicle. I'm gonna test drive it soon. I just have to wait for the roads to be um, like for it to be sunny out and the roads to be melting so I can drive it because obviously I'm not gonna drive this car when it's not mine with rear wheel drive if they'll even let me in this stuff. So, but just so you guys know, this is what I'll be getting when I get my new car, whether it's this exact car or I'll have to go find a new one. I'll go out of state to get it. I don't care, it's just this one is perfect. Low miles, one owner. It was an old guy, he was like 80 years old, they said he traded it in. And uh, I don't really believe him, but uh, when I look at it, uh, I want proof. <laughs> so yeah. So like, comment, subscribe to the channel, guys, to see me purchase one of these in the very near future. Hopefully this car exactly. It's gorgeous, I know. Here's my car, it's gorgeous, in my opinion. I know, it's fast. It beats a lot of cars. Um, <clears throat> it has no problem beating Mustangs all the way up to like a 2009 Mustang, and that's when they're neck and neck. I don't know why, but yeah. Like 2004 and older Mustangs, I walk them, literally. I'll get some on video in St. Cloud. Uh, that's where I do my racing and fun meetups and stuff. And it has no problem beating a like a 2004 and 5 and 6 WRX STI. Uh, I walk the WRXs, but it it's a little faster than the new WRX. Uh, it's about even with the new STI. The new STI would easily beat me off a dig, but from a roll race, I'd beat him with my torque because my torque is about 350 uh, pound feet of torque right now, foot pounds of torque. But uh, this car's a lot faster than you think. Before you hate on it, go test drive one. And then add my tune, my exhaust, which doesn't, exhaust doesn't do much, but my tune and intake do a little bit. And then um, 
So yeah, what I'm doing to this car quickly before the end of the video is like I said, Magnaflow high flow catalytic converters, black spoked rims is what I want. I want black or bronze, like a goldish, not not like a bright gold, like like a like the brass monkey rims from the Hellcat, like that color, like a rim like that or a black spoke. Most likely the black to go to go with it, but those would be cool too. And then I got the uh, oh, it's cold out. Sorry, I got a, a downpipe coming. Is it? A, no, it's not a downpipe. What is it? Uh, shoot, it's the top part of the exhaust, not the manifold. It's up there. I, I'm drawing a blank right now. I don't know why. And then an upgraded tune, so it will jump. It's gonna. I want my goal is for this car to be over 400 horsepower, and it'll get there by the time I'm done with it, unless I get this within a week, which could happen. I'm not counting on it. I don't have a co-signer, but we'll see. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, guys. 